today's walk, it's 6.30 in the morning, and it's a dog show weekend, so we walk in places that are not common to us, that are new, so I have to make sure I give plenty of extra time. We sometimes forget that we can't take care of our bodily needs when we're rushed or when we're too enthralled in a new situation. And we try to rush things and we try to hurry up, hurry up. I mean, I am on a timetable. I'm on a schedule. In 30 minutes, I've got to be out of the hotel and on my way to the show site so that I can start getting four dogs ready for a 9.30 ring time. But that's not Stella's problem. Stella's the one I'm walking right now. That's not her problem. So why should her time be affected by my perception of time? By my fear that there's not enough time? It shouldn't. And I have to be mindful of that. She has to do a lot of things that I need her to do today. The least that I can do is when it's walkie's time, let that be her time. Let her have the time she needs and wants to just be herself. It's like that at home too. We forget sometimes because we're in a hurry. We got things going on. But dogs really need their their walks when they're the part of their walks that are for going to the bathroom, for sniffing, for just being themselves. They need that to be a little more on island time. Puppy time. Even if you can only give them five minutes, ten minutes, give it fully to them. Set your alarm if you need to, to just stand still or to walk slowly so they have time to sniff. And at the end of the ten minutes when the alarm goes off, you can go back to being a busy person. You can go back to not having enough time. But for that 10 minutes, you set aside for the dog, give it to them fully. I think that's really important and I think we forget. I think it's a gateway for us to take care of ourselves too. Because we treat ourselves the same way. I only have three minutes to eat. I'll eat in the car on my way to my my uh, next appointment or on my way to work. Or uh, I don't know how many times as a dog groomer I have suddenly realized I haven't been to the bathroom all day. And you know what that's a sign of? That's a sign of I haven't had anything to drink all day. So... Even if we just take that 10 minutes, that 15 minutes, that 5 minutes, that 30 minutes, however much time we can give the dog to slow down, that's good practice for us too, for us to slow down and be present so we don't miss our own lives because we're so busy thinking about where we need to be next. Just be here now and let your dog help you with that.